the footies promo is in full swing in FIFA 22, which is why in this video I'll be showing you guys the best trading methods that will make you millions of coins in FIFA 22 throughout the promo. I have been using these methods and have managed to build up 1 million coins and I will continue to these methods, use these methods to help make even more coins. If you guys do find this video helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe and without further ado, you can also join my Discord server link in description. Let's get straight into it. Now before we get into today's video, if you're looking to get some very easy coins, there is no better place than U4GM. Head over there to get yourself some fast, cheap FIFA 22 coins, completely safe and reliable. If you use code MANZA at checkout, you will get yourself a 5% discount. Link can be found in the description down below. Okay, so starting off then with low budget trading methods, the first trading method which I'll be showing you guys to help make millions of coins throughout footies is going to be the bronze rare 200 coin sniping method. First of all, all you want to do is set the quality to bronze rare and then find the ultimate maximum by now of these cards which you can sell them for within 10 minutes. Currently on the market for me, this is going to be around about 350 or 400 coins. Although you guys do want to check when you are using the method to see if the prices have varied. So as long as you can sell these cards on within like half an hour or so, as you guys can see, these cards are starting slowly to sell on. Well, then as long as that is above 350 coins, you guys can use this method effectively. Then simply knock the maximum by now down a couple hundred coins and begin sniping. So now it is at 200 coins. Any card which does pop up under this filter, we know which we can sell on for 350 coins minimum. So we see this card here for 200 coins, which we managed to pick up. We know at very minimum, we can sell him on for 350 coins. Now what is important to do is that every time you do successfully get a snipe, look for the cheapest ban out of that card, as sometimes some of them may be worth more than the base value of 350 coins. So starting off here then with this Malenga, we can go and sell him on for 350 coins. Bought for 200 coins, that will be a nice 125 coin, 125 coin profit after tax. And then you simply continue sniping. Now with these uh, being only literally bronze cards, anyone doing bronze pack method or a method like that will be listing up these cards. This method is extremely active and actually the sheer amount of deals which you can get on this filter makes the 150 coin profit which you do get per card worthwhile. So yeah, again, we get this snipe here. Well, he is actually 400 coins, but we will go and flip that on for 350 coins. So just showing you guys here, we have made about a 250 coin profit that quickly. And that is why this is one of the best low budget trading methods. Now, next up, a little bit of a higher low budget trading method is going to be the silver rare sniping method. Now, this is very similar to the bronze rare sniping method, which I've just shown. For this, set the quality to silver rare and then the maximum by now to obviously what they currently are on the market. So for me, currently, these cards are going to be around about 750 to 800 coins. Obviously, when you guys are using this method, prices may vary. But what you want to do is literally find the cheapest by now, which you can sell these cards on for within around a minute or so. So it's going to be about 850 coins. You then want to work out tax on that, which is going to be very low due to the cards uh, coin total being very low. So then you whack it down about 150 coins and you begin sniping. So if we snipe here at 700 coins, any card which does pop up, we know we can go and sell them cards on for 850. So this one here at 600 coins, we could have flipped instantly for 850. Obviously, when you do successfully get a deal, have a look and compare the prices. This guy, for example, is worth 1.1k. So this listing here at 600 coins is about half its price. Now, something key to note is that with these cards being silver cards and no longer bronzes, there is actually quite a bit more competition on this filter. So you guys do have to be quick with your snipes. However, if you are managed to successfully get a trade, where well, you can be making around about loads and loads of coins per trade. As you can guys see, this one here at 450 coins, probably we can sell that on for 1,000 coins. Now, if you are struggling literally with just the base sniping method, you guys can use the squad menu SPC method to try and win these cards. But if you are persistent and quick at sniping and on a next gen console, you stand a good chance of winning enough of these deals. Because as you guys can see, this filter is extremely active. And if you are able to take advantage of it, it can be one of the best filters in the game. Like this card, for example, Syria left back, we could sell that card on for literally, look, 2,500 coin bid. This card on the market is going for 4,000 coins. If we could have picked that card up there for that 500 coin listing, we could have just taken an insane profit on that card. Now, if you guys obviously do continue to struggle with sniping these cards, as you guys can see, it's very hard to win these snipes, but I'm sure you guys will be able to. But if, for example, you cannot win any of these snipes after ages of trying, then simply switch on to bidding these cards. So you can literally just go and mass bid on every single one of these cards for 600 coins here, knowing that every single one you can sell on for a minimum of 850. So it's easy profit when using this trading method. Okay, so once you've used the low budget trading methods to build up your first 10 to 20,000 coins, this is where we switch onto some more active trading filters, which can make you even more coins. 
Preferably what we are looking for with these filters is with gold rare cards where more than one card can pop up. For example, a good example of one of these filter will be the English Manchester United gold rare filter. What you want to do is literally set the league to Premier League, club to Manchester United, position to defender, quality to gold rare and then the country slash region to England. Now you would then find the cheapest buy now of these cards which currently for me on the market their intercell price is going to be around about 6.3k. Obviously 6.2k for an intercell but you guys do want to check when you are using this filter and see if the prices of these cards do match. Obviously prices may differ when you guys are using the filter. Then what you want to do is work out tax which for me is 360 coins and then take away the accountable amount to make profit. So for me sniping here anything I see which is going to be a minimum of 150 coins profit when selling at 6.2k. Now the reason why these filters are better than the bronze and silver ones is because one you can see cards as low as 1000 coins and selling them at 6k you can make thousands and thousands of coins profit and two is because more than one card can pop up. So around about 6pm UK time when content comes out if you guys can snipe using these filters you can see different cards such as Harry Maguire, Luke Shaw, or Aaron Wan-Bissaka can pop up. Now it isn't just this filter that works there is multiple different ones of these filter which you guys can use. Another one being German midfielders that are gold rare from Bayern Munich. Obviously under this you guys can see multiple different cards and there are loads of different filters which you guys can use. It is important which you go through and actually find your own filters which work the best not just copy the ones in a video because obviously if you do find your own filter where there is multiple cards which pop up then you can use it and take advantage of it to make the most profit. But here we can see obviously Sane and Gnabry as well as Muller on a massive undercut. Obviously if we do see cards that are higher value that is going to be for thousands of thousands of coins. But yeah again same premise 5.8k tax on that is going to be 290 coins so we knock it down to around about 5.4 thousand coins any card which does pop up we're going to be making a minimum of 1000 coins profit and we simply just snipe and wait for cards to pop up. Yes, it may be less active than cards and then filters such as the silver rare filter, but when a card does pop up, you guys can be making thousands of thousands of coins per trade, which is why it is worth using this filter at a medium budget. Now, next up, another medium budget trading method, which I'm going to be showing you guys, is going to be the position modifier method. Now, for this, you want to obviously head over to consumables, head over to position modifier, and then select the one which you want to use. Preferably the ones I find work the best are left wing to left mid, right wing to right mid, left wing back to left back and right wing back to right back. These position modifiers tend to work the best. For sake of showing you guys, I will use the right wing to right mid position modifier. Then what you want to do is find the cheapest buy now of this on the market. So currently on the market, these are actually very expensive. What you would do is literally go and pick one of the cheapest ones up. So 2.5 thousand coins. And then you would proceed to send this to our club. So total at the moment spent is 2.5k. Then, obviously, the position modifier we did select is right wing to right mid. So we need a card that comes out of packs originally in the right wing position. A good example of a player which this works with will be Marco Asensio. So in the right wing position, he comes out of packs. He will be quite, uh, quite inflated due to the price of 83s at the moment. But what you do is go and pick up the uh, cheapest listing of this card in the right wing position. So he is 4.2k. So then 4.2k plus the 2.5k which we already spent on the position modifier takes the total spent up to 6.7k. So the conversion spent is 6.7k. What we then do is uh, switch Marco Sensio to right mid. And as we can see, as long as there isn't any at 6.7k, we are in the room to make profit. Now, because this card, uh, the position modifier on that actually costs quite a bit, it is quite expensive to do this conversion, meaning the price of these cards is quite inflated, being at 9.1k. Obviously, the total we have spent is 6.7k, so we can go and list this card on for 9k. It will be the cheapest on the market, and there is room to make thousands of coins profit. This, in my opinion, is one of the best trading methods at a medium budget in the game. What you then want to do is literally head over to your club, get the player which you just bought. So for me, that is going to be Marco Asensio. Obviously, he is the player we are going to be doing the conversion with. However, as I said, this does work with any of the players which I did show. So we will go and get this Marco Asensio, which we just... Um, but we will then apply the right wing to right mid position modifier onto him, obviously to increase his value. Now, once we have used that position modifier, now the price of this Marco Asensio now goes up to 9.1k. And we can go and list him for about, let's go for 8.8k on the market. So it is a decent undercut. Obviously, we only spent 6.7k listing him on 8.8k. When that sells, that is going to be 1,800 coin profit. And the good thing about this method is you can keep repeating it. There doesn't need to be an active sniping filter. You guys can just keep repeating this method as long as the prices do match.
Okay, so once you guys have used the gold rare position modifier method and gold rare sniping filters to build up your first about 100,000 coins, this is where we move on to some bit higher budget training filters on the road to making millions. First up, what you are going to be want to do is obviously during footies, there are a lot of cards back in packs, therefore meaning the market with specials is very active, so you want to find some sniping filters around special cards. A good example of this will be the Premier League right wing um, special filter. Literally, all you want to do is set the uh, country as well to English, the league to Prem, position to right wing and quality to special, and then find the cheapest ban out of these on the market. Now, this doesn't have to be the sniping filter which you guys use. It's just an example of ones which do work. For example, you would find the cheapest ban out of all of these cards. Obviously, there is a variety that can pop up. All going for around about the 20k range. You've got a Bowens card. You've also got a other cards in here like Joe Cole and obviously some other informs and stuff which may pop up. But literally all you guys want to do is just find the cheapest one out which you can compare price back out on. So for me it's going to be around about 18,250 coins. Obviously you guys check it when you are using the filter. And then simply compare price hit back and back out. Every time you're doing this obviously... You're updating the market, meaning new cards can get listed, and you guys do have the opportunities to see coins on tens of thousands of undercuts. Obviously, some special right wing cards that may be worth a lot more from English, such as maybe Winter Wild Card Sterling. You could see a card such as that pop up, who we can sell for 5k profit and stuff like that. But what you guys want to do, obviously, is just find your own versions of these filters. So, another one that works is going to be the Prem Left Wing uh, Liverpool filter. You guys can use this. Literally, just another example of these sort of filters which you guys are looking for. You would then, obviously, special, actually. You would then, obviously, find the cheapest ban out of all of these cards, which currently is going to be around about 20,000 coins. Now, on this filter, you can see Diaz, Jota, and Mane all around the same price. So, you would do the same sort of method. You would either snipe these cards or find them as cheap as possible. Obviously, we do just get kicked out of the market here. That won't happen regularly. But you literally prem left wing Liverpool filter, and you are just looking and sniping these special cards which do pop up. The method is literally just, guys, find your own sniping filter surrounding different special cards in packs. I've shown you guys a few examples of the ones which do work. And you guys just want to see which cards you can snipe for profit. Obviously, just doing the compare price back out method. So, like here, we would just do the compare price back out. If a card does pop up for, like, 15k, for example, well, then we can pick that up and it's an undercut. And, obviously, we have the opportunity to see other cards, such as Mane, which will be on an undercut anyway. But that is going to be the perfect trading method to use to build up your coin total from about 100,000 coins up to 200k we move on to the next method so next up the perfect trading method to take your coin total from around about 200,000 coins is going to be the 10 20 30 trading method for this set the uh min price to 10,000 coins the maximum price to 20,000 coins and then the minimum by now to 30,000 coins hint why it's called the 10 20 30 method you then want to set the quality to special and search the market then all we are doing is looking for a card of the bid on and then deciding if we want to try and win this bid on card this card on bid so for example this mendy here at 13k what we would do is add this card to our transfer targets use a site such as footbin or footwiz to find the cheapest ban out of this card and then try and win them on bid accordingly so let's say with that Mendy there, his cheapest buy now on the market was 20,000 coins. We would work out tax on 20k, which is 1,000 coins. So we know if we win this card on anything under 19k, then that could be a deal, for example. So we would try and win this card on for a profit. You get the idea. And what you want to do is just bid on as many of these cards as you possibly can in order to make as much profit as you possibly can. Obviously, with you guys having hundreds of thousands of coins, you can bid on more than one card at once. So, for example, this Tavernia here is going to go for more than 15k. So, you could do it with that card, for example. And you guys just want to simply cycle through. Now, competition is relatively high, but there's enough deals on the market that if you guys literally just bid on enough cards, you will win a decent amount. And with there being so many different cards to bid on, you guys can make tens of thousands of coins on some of these trades. Especially if you do this method around unactive times on the market, such as late at night or early morning. Now, if you guys do find you have that you use the 10, 20, 30 to build up to around about uh, 300k, well, what you can then actually trade with is going to be the 100, 200, 300 method. This is very similar to the 10, 20, 30, just advanced. Simply find a card with a bid on, then work out the tax on that card when selling on. So let's say Donnarumma is 200k, tax on that is going to be 10k. So we would try and win this card on bid for anything under 190k in order to make a profit. You guys get the idea. But this is the perfect trading method to catapult you all the way up to around about 500,000 coins. And to be honest, this 100, 200, 300 method can be used at any budget to help make millions.
Okay, so finally the highest budget trading method which I'm showing in today's video which should be used alongside the 100, 200, 300 method to help make millions is going to be trading with icon moments cards. Now for this set the quality to icon moments and then obviously what you want to do is just adjust the max price. Normally I put this to around about 100k and then put the maximum buy now to the current coin total which you guys do have. So for me that is going to be 909k as I've just bought an icon moments deal. What you then want to do is scroll across to the 59th minute. Now, if you guys have watched other ones of my videos, you will have seen me do this with just generic icon trading. However, due to icon moments being really the most active icons on the market, I believe it is best to just trade with them. What we would then do is scroll all the way over to the 59th minute and look at the cards which have just been listed up. So, obviously, once we get over to the 59th minute, we will have a cards look at like this Desai. What we will do is compare their price on the market and see if it's an undercut. So for example, this Desai here is listed up at 219k. We can see the cheapest man out of this card is 213k, so this isn't going to be a deal. However, if he was 250k, this one listed at 219k would be a deal. And we just continue scrolling around the 59th minute looking for any cards which may be on undercuts. For example, Sucre at 75k. Yet again, not an undercut. However, if he was 100k, that one there listed at 75k would be an undercut. If there isn't a deal first time around, simply back out, update the price filter. This allows you to then search the market again and see new cards which may have been listed up. So when we get back over to the 59th minute, there may be a card listed after that Desai, which we can look and see if it is an undercut to make profit. So once we get back over to the 59th minute, we can look this Balak here at 310k. We'll compare price. Okay, that isn't a deal. See if there's any other cards which have been listed up. Rush, Rykard, and you guys get the idea. You are just looking through all of these cards and looking for any undercuts. Now, just to show you guys that this filter does work effectively, a deal which I literally just got while setting up the filter for this video is going to be on a Fernando Hierro here. This Fernando Hierro, we managed to pick up literally first search at 95.5k. And when we go and compare his price on the market, we can see that the cheapest ban out of this card is around about 119,000 coins. So this is around about a 25,000 coin undercut on this card. And we can then go and list him up at about a 113,000 coins. When setting this on, we'll be looking at around about 10, 11,000 coin profit on that card. And that is a prime example of these sort of trades which you guys can pick up using this filter. And just to show you guys some of the trades which we did obviously buy in the video, just with these bronze rares and the Marco Asensio did sell on at 8.8k. So that's profit there and then both the bronze rares we take profit. So overall we get profit of all these cards. Anyway guys that is going to be all for today's video. If you did find this video helpful please make sure you have liked and subscribed and also join my FIFA 22 Discord server link in description. Thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.